Hello and welcome to another Construct 3 demonstration where I'll show you how to communicate with an iframe inside your application. So what you're seeing here on the screen is an iframe, this little bluish thing here, and in the iframe there's just some HTML and it says click the button to add gold in construct and there's a little button also generated in html and when we click the button you'll see that this text which is just reg a regular text item in your application it's outside of the iframe it gets updated it gets an increasing gold value and what we can do is we can update the iframe with the value which is in here number 24 and we can get that inside the iframe here as well. So actually communicating from the application towards the iframe and from the iframe towards the application. So let's see how that actually works. We'll go onto the layout here and you'll see this little text here that will hold the number of gold pieces and this little button which will take care of the communication and there's also the iframe and the iframe has two important notes here the, um, the iframe has an id called my iframe because we're going to reference it using its id it's important that it has a meaningful id and then there's the html content and let's have a quick look at the html content so this is not a demonstration of HTML or JavaScript. There are plenty of good uh, video tutorials out there you can check out on how to use HTML and JavaScript. I'll just go to the essence here of what's happening in this little script. So first of all in the body of our HTML we have this paragraph where we say click the button to add the code in construct. That's just the text which is on there. And then there's a button tag. This button tag uh, which holds add one gold as the text inside the button and it has an event, an onclick event which executes my function, a function called my function whenever someone clicks this button. And then there is a paragraph which is by default is empty but we can fill that paragraph by referencing it with its ID which is gold in uh, lowercase so in the scripts section of this html page we can find my function uh, the my function function we are calling here whenever we click uh, this uh, uh, button so what we do actually is um, we call the function uh, add gold inside the event sheet so let's quickly switch to the event sheet and you can see here there's a function called uh, add gold and it's this function which is called from inside the in the iframe it's got a parameter called, uh, called n which is a number and it's the number of gold we're going to add to the gold global variable we go back in here you can see here how this is done we go to the parent of uh, in, in the parent of this object and we can uh, use c3 call function a function which we can call and inside that call of a function is the name of a construct3 function which is visible in the event sheet and as a parameter we can uh, give it uh, a number which is in this case the number one so this is what we're doing here, c3 call function, whenever you define a function in the event sheet, you can call it here using uh, this c3 underscore call function function and use the function name as the first parameter and then all of the parameters to this function as a uh, second parameter. So this function is called from a construct3 event here, update gold balance, we'll just see in a minute where uh, this function is being called but it's a definition of a function and the gold balance which is the parameter here is G and what we do is we get the element by ID gold in lowercase and we set it in inner, uh, its inner HTML to total gold colon and then the G parameter we get passed along so remember here this is this paragraph here with ID gold and this is how we get that element 
gold and we set the inner HTML so this part of the HTML we set it to total gold colon and then G and this function is actually called from in the event sheet let's see how that works and this is where the magic happens we on the button clicked so whenever this button here is clicked what we will do is execute a little script this is a little script here what we're calling um, and we are using my iframe which is the ID here of the iframe this is the ID of the iframe and we can reference it here by saying my iframe and then of calling the content window of refer or referencing the content window of the iframe and then we can actually call every function which is defined inside the iframe just like that and we give it a parameter and the parameter we're giving it here is runtime.globalvars.gold um, actually whenever we're executing a javascript function inside of construct we cannot directly reference all of the global numbers as just name of that global number like for example gold we cannot call update gold balance and then just the word go because inside the function inside the constant the context of the javascript handling in construct 3 that gold variable does not exist however we can reference it using the runtime object and one of the objects in the runtime object is called global vars which holds all of the variables all of the global variables defined inside the application just by its name so that's what we are doing here we're getting that global vars dot gold variable and we're passing it up to the update gold balance function which is defined here in my iframe and that will just update the inner HTML so that's how it works how we communicate from and to an iframe in construct 3 so I hope you liked it as always please like and subscribe and I will leave a link in the comment section to the place where you can get this template thank you for watching